here and just keep pelting him with MG, he's not going to be able to do much about it. Oh, there's a mutual. Mm. That's way too It bad. always what? feels best when you go off at the same there time. There you go. There's a midair. Nice one, Jones. That was a good one. Almost. <laughs> Yeah, guys, so yeah, this is DM17. We really don't uh, pay too much attention to it, um, obviously. We just look for the fun mid-airs, which are always nice to see. All right, come on, Jones. Make me proud. Hit it! <laughs> there you Dead. go! Yeah! That's one to write home about. <laughs> that elicited another OMG from Jester. Jones is like, yeah, get on that jump pad. Get on that jump pad. <laughs> you want that mega? You want that mega? Yeah, yeah there that you go. Boy. Mutual midairs. That was nice. Whole bag wins. 33 health at the end of that. <laughs> Jones like is trying to set up the midair. Jones is just like, uh -oh. just like, I'm going to MG you until you hit a jump pad. Pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, just force him into something. Raid's coming up in about five seconds. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he saves him from the death. Hits him with an MG kill. <laughs> How nice. How thoughtful. <laughs> there you go. Mm, and here's the tasty. ironic thing. Yeah. Hobag keeps going for the M Mega as if it's going to save him. <laughs> I do that too. <laughs> like when I played this map, I would do that too. Although to be honest, like I figured out. Oh, there you go. That's kind of an easy one though. When I figured out ways to uh, like air strafe out, and and you can come back onto that center pad, and uh, it actually makes you kind of hard to hit from a midair because you're doing this like weird kind of bowed action as you cross it. Well, Jones would obviously say, "Well, excuse me, sir." You know, as much as I love midairs, I wouldn't mind if Jones pulled out the railgun again. That'd be okay. There you go. There's a nice <laughs> one. Actually, I think this is the most oh, midairs we've seen on this map. Usually, people are actually trying to play this. Yeah, yeah. Rather than get midairs. So, it's, you know, it's a nice little switch up of a spectacle. Is that going to go for it, Jones? Come on. Oh, he no. oh, almost had him there. That was pretty good. Oops. How about he just shot himself in the face? Only uh, only health left to this thing. Don't let it get in your eye, it hurts. Ooh, more midairs. I demand more de midairs. <laughs> Looks like uh, Hobag is actually starting to air strafe quite a bit in an effort not to get hit. Yeah. Well, that's what you gotta do. It's having an effect. And always hitting the crouch button <laughs> really quickly to uh, attempt to throw off your opponent. <laughs> obvious play is obvious. Oh, Hobag almost got one of his own. That was pretty close. Jones is going to shoot him off the platform. It's like, I've had enough of you. I only have 20 rockets left. i got to save him. Really? Hobag just rocket jumped? Okay. <laughs> ah, joy. So next up will be Smeagol. After this. Very cool. I think probably what I'm going to do with this game is I'll just take a clip of all the um, mid-airs. String them together, it'll be like a 10 Does second game. Yeah. Yeah. It's be a 10 second VOD for this mount. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go through the paces, kids. Come on, Jones. One more for the camera. Where's that money shot? <laughs> <laughs> Open up and I'll show you. 
<laughs> you said it. You're the one looking uh, for the money shot. Yeah, but I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> yeah, sadly I enough, you were talking free. to Jones. Oh, oh Hobag surviving with 10 health and gets bounced over the RA. Oh, pity. Ah, oh, Brick just got kicked. Ha! <laughs> Crib stun! <laughs> yep, only well, Hobag definitely got in do. his uh, Edward Norton moment. Yeah, Hobag has definitely learned to air strafe. He, he just dodged both those rockets. Very nicely done. Sadly, it took him about eight minutes to get on that uh, bead, but Jones, <laughs> come out on top. Playing his favorite, DM17, but this is the only time we're going to see DM17 tonight, so. He didn't waste his vote. He feels better. One more. No, boo. Ooh. Boo. Maybe if I land on him really hard. Yeah. All right. I'm Mario. All right. LOL, GG. Looks like we got Schmeagle up. Let's figure out like a little T minus counter, but just give me a fucking date and time. Yeah. <laughs> you ever right. crimp cable upside down in the snow? All right. Well, we got a game. <laughs> Make I love it. my job. Upside down in the snow. Make it. Yeah. Smeagol. Hanging from a roof. Duking it off against Jones. On T9, this will be, uh, you know, Smeagol is, uh, he says that he's not terribly good at, at Quake Live. That's okay, because King of the Hill is open to the community. We are here for the community. And, um, you know, we we actually have seen a lot of uh, interesting players come and go and, and um, improve as they make their appearances at King of the Hill. I'm looking forward to seeing oh, totally. perhaps we're going to see some Death Row tonight. Um, it's always fun to watch him play because you know, he's, he's definitely one of the players I would say that has showed up to King of the Hill uh, several weeks in a row and has improved over the course of the, uh, the coverage. So it's good times. Jones already has picked up the first frag. Smeagol, let's go see how he's doing. He's picked up 81 armor, not too bad. We've got Mega coming up in about 15 seconds. Jones grabbing center yellow, setting up now. Good positioning for this Mega. He's actually just checking to make sure he's not going to have any funky... Ah, he just spotted his, his opponent, knows where he's coming from. And here comes Mega in five. Jones is backing off. This is interesting. He doesn't have Mega timing, but look at this. Jones hasn't taken any damage, so the previous Mega still has him at 160 health. Oh. Smeagol trapped. Ouch. Well, he got himself trapped. He got the grab cleanly, and he got a good chance for rocket jump, but it was a failed rocket jump out of there. Jones came in just exactly when Smeagol did not need that to happen and got a quick one-two off of that. Jones smashing himself up to armor. Smeagol's not there, though. Smeagol actually looking for any kind of armor to pick up, and he has got himself one of them, and now he's running the map a little bit here, but as far as knowing where Jones is going to be and being able to do any kind of damage here, he hangs out by the teleporter for a second. He's playing this not too badly right now. He's overlooking Mega, goes in for the grab. Again, uh, Jones doesn't have timing, and again, Smeagol just doesn't get that rocket jump. <laughs> so maybe yeah, so. someone's got to do the whole, you know, jump first and hit the rocket. Yeah, yeah, it's actually really sad whenever you do those things backwards. It's the jump part, part of the Mega jump. Yeah. Alright guys, so I'm getting some information about this land party that's coming up, and whoops, ooh, my, my computer just hiccuped a little bit there. Not sure what that was about, but I'll, I'll talk about it as soon as we uh, get to the next set of players. We're going to continue to watch uh, Jones switching over to his point of view because uh, he's the guy in control and actually really enjoying now has Mega. He's got that timed. And actually, he's leaving up the LGYA. Oh, he finally doubles back for it. But uh, that means that, you know, Smeagol at best has about, you know, he's, he's backed into some shards, has about 120 armor. Not too bad. But you can see, like, Smeagol is just, he's just not quite sure where to go. And is this his connection? I, I think it's Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm watching game. this. Yeah, he's oh, lagging okay. like crazy. Oh, wow. Jesus. Oh, God, he's got, two, he's got 230. Oh, my God. He's spiking from 50 to 200. Wow. <laughs> like, I'm thinking he's on Wi Fi. <laughs> nice. I'm thinking he's on Windows Wi Fi and it's polling for SSIDs every 60 seconds. Yeah, we, which we, is a pain in the ass. That's because Windows is retarded. Yeah. Actually, um, just as a quick uh, IT tip for anyone that um, wants to get the most out of their Windows box, definitely go check out the uh, Windows XP guide. Uh, I can't 